question nine then from the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 2. Nine mark question this time on circles. The first one for five marks is just find the points of intersection of a circle. This line intersects this circle at the points P and Q. What are the coordinates of P and Q? Well, you've got simultaneous equations and it has to be substitution. You're just going to substitute that into this. Wherever you see y, instead of y, you write 3x plus 4. Maybe I'll just give them names. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute 1 in 2. In which case I just start writing out number 2, x squared. But wherever I come across a y, I use number 1 as a substitution. So y, 3x plus 7 squared minus 4x, minus 6y, oh, pop in 3x plus 7, minus 7 should equal 0. Now, doing that, just substituting that in, gets the first mark. Now you've got to work it all out to get the next one. So multiplying it all out. So x squared's fine, square a bracket, so it's going to be square the first, 9x squared, twice the product, that's 21, 42x, square the last, that's a 49, it doesn't need anything. Multiply this out. 6 threes are 18. 6 sevens are 42. So it's minus 42 minus 7 equals 0. Now just gather it all up because it's just a quadratic. That's the highest power you've got, x squared. So you can end up with a quadratic equation. The x squared, you've only got 1 and 9 makes 10. So 10x squared. Now the x's. For the x's, you've got a minus 22. So that makes it a 20. So that's looking good so far. We've got multiples of 10. If this is also a multiple of 10, or even more five, multiple of 5, it would be fine. Then we've got 49. Well, let's take a bit. Well, that's nothing. Well, that's a wee baby one, that, isn't it? Because the next stage after that is factorising. That's going to be really easy. But before you get to that stage, you get a mark for reducing it to a quadratic equation equal to 0. Now, that's got a trivial factorisation then, because... 10 and x are common factors, so it's just 10x times x plus 2 equals 0. You get a mark for that. So still a couple of marks left, and they'll be for the, the points. So that means you've got two things then. You've got either x is equal to 0, if that's responsible for the product being 0, or you've got x is negative 2. So there'll be a mark for that. Now you've got to find the corresponding y-coordinates. We'll just pop them into You could pop it into that one if you wanted, but then you'd have a quadratic equation to solve for y. No, pop it into that one. That's far easier. So, using 1, y would equal 3 times 0 plus 7. So in that case, y is 7. In this case, oh, same one again, y is 3 times negative 2 plus 7. Well, that's just 1 then, so y is 1. Now, the marking scheme gives you the, mark, the other mark for finding the corresponding y coordinates, but you still haven't identified p or q. And I'll finish it off. Well, p is the one further back, so out of the two of them, negative 2 is further back, so p must be the negative 2, 1, and q must be the 0, 7. I'm not sure where to put the mark. Whoa, put it there. And so part B, PQ, that line that you had just had, is a tangent to a second smaller circle, which is concentric with the first one, so it's got the same centre. What's the equation of that smaller circle for four marks? Well, it'll have the same centre, so extract the centre from this, I've just called it C there. Extracting the centre just means it's half of those numbers. You can use the F's and G's if you like. But in, in getting this expansion from the simple equation of a circle, all you've done is expanded the original bracket. So that's just twice the product, twice the product. So it's going to be 2, 3. The centre there is at 2, 3. That's a mark for extracting that from here. Now, the point in that circle would be this midpoint of the line, where the radius is, of course, perpendicular to the tangent. So that midpoint there, I'll work that out, that's the midpoint of PQ. So that'll be halfway between the x-coordinates and halfway between the y-coordinates. So that 
midpoint there, that point in the circle, is going to be at negative 1, 4. Now, getting that, M's a point. Now, you just need the radius of the small circle, and you can just fill it all in. So, you could either write out the equation, the standard form for the equation of a circle, because you already know the centre, and so if you put in the coordinates of that point, that'll give you R squared. But that's just the same as Pythagoras. That's just where that comes from. That's just the same as saying, what's the distance CM? It's just the same as saying, well, the radius will be the distance CM. So the radius squared will be just the distance CM squared, which is the difference in the x-coordinates and the difference in the y-coordinates. So I'll have difference in the x-coordinates, that will be the negative 1, take away the 2. Difference in the y-coordinates, that will be the 4, take away the 3. So you've got negative 3 squared plus 1 squared, that's 9 and 1, makes 10. Now you don't specifically, they didn't ask you for the radius, so you don't need to finish that off. I suppose I could put that down. If you wanted, the radius is root 10, but that's not necessary because that's all I need to put it into the equation. Well, there was a mark down for root 10, but strictly speaking, r squared would do. But now you can put down the equation of the circle. So the equation of the smaller circle, small circle would be, it's this equation here, x minus the centre, which was 2, y minus the centre, which was 3, radius squared, which is 10.